Oh wow. I like the sound. So um if we find they need more pollen or something I'll come out later today so as not to split it up on two days. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's nice. And it's a great day, huh? Yeah. Yeah, not a lot of wind. So this is our horse fence. Yes. Because <laughs> Silver the horse couldn't control himself. <laughs> Can you uh, put that down and sure. hold this? It's recording. Just keep it basically on. Very uh, steady? Sure. No, oh, it doesn't have to be steady. It's just our purpose. Do you want me around by the front? No, back here is where the action is. Okay. No, no. There are uh, national frames here, yeah. rose frames here, and I had come out intending to do a, a Bailey cone chain, oh. but they weren't filled up here. Right. And I want to, because I want to remove this box. Yes. Um, but then in order to put the pollen feed uh, to keep it up high, I basically, I didn't have an eek, so I went ahead and put it on the top bars of these uh, in here. And then this is, uh, what's in there? Well, the crown board is, actually the crown board may be up above. I kind of don't remember. Mm. But I've got too many, uh, I want to reduce it. But th the main thing I need to do is get rid of those original uh, frames, frames if possible, or mm. buy a national brood box and just have the brood box national. Right. Okay, they have not eaten up the pollen feed. And ha had you told Sue about the feed bee? Yes. You told us when he was asked to check, test it, didn't you? Um, Did it always come up here? Yeah, I think so. So here's, here's where they, they ate up, look at that, they ate up every stitch. Of the sugar? Of, of Michael's, uh, Michael's uh, thing. Found it. Okay. And they're up here. Listen to that sound. It's a wonderful They've sound. They've increased in numbers since. Uh, oh, thank God. Now they have probably. See, I, I can the see heat. them. They're it's chewing wonderful. it. They have probably eaten maybe 10% of it. Yeah. But they probably can't get access to all of it. So they have eaten some of it. But maybe uh, the, way, the way it's cut is actually one of the problems I found. Mm -hmm. How to actually allow them to have access to it. Yeah, Shannon had tried putting the, the feed bee sort of straight on the crown board and they, it just kind of got hard and they didn't touch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was sort of in the winter though, wasn't it, Shannon? Yes. Uh, or no, early spring, because I didn't spring. know about it last... Uh... So they've eaten all of the fondant. That's wonderful. And this was like to the... It was almost full and then by the time I'd broken it up, it was heaping. But they still haven't really drawn out on the other frames. Well, these think. frames aren't, these are superfluous. Okay. I, I oh, need, the, okay, okay. I need them, this is not the brood box, this is the super area. Sure, okay. So I need them to fill actually down below. No, it seems like they're doing a, a nectar exchange and just kind of hanging out up here. Yeah. So if you can step down, step I'll put down? the, sure. not you, Sue, I'll just get out, put this uh, super down there. So you're putting the super down with nothing underneath it. So if the queen's in it, she Oh, she might fall. Down. Oh, okay. Well, let's turn the, uh, the roof upside down. We'll do all the crown board, just something, just in case. Sure. Can, uh, can I get you to put this over there? Yeah. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> that would have been scary. Yeah, because we're not using a queen excluder. Yeah, it's possible she might be roaming she freely. Risk she, without always going down. Yeah. It's always worth making sure she doesn't drop into the grass with something. Dropping somewhere like that would be disastrous. It would, Absolutely. wouldn't it? Oh. Well, the only way we'd know it is if there was a bee ball. And then we'd still have a hard time getting her. Yeah. 
Is no one down there? Nope. You just got your, your one in Actually, the thing. I don't want to put that there. And they're lovely in black, aren't they? They are. So you, you haven't eased your corners. With a... I'm gonna, I'm the gonna hive tools are here. Do you want to... Sure. Really bossy. It's always, always worth easing your four corners. Yeah, just you mean you lowering the up? Just give it... Yes. Just so that you don't get that. Sometimes when you lift a box like that... It drops down. The, the bottom one stays with it Is and then it drops. And then that makes them a real set. fight. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So if you always leave at each four corners even if you think it's loose yeah yeah just to okay. kind of just that's a very make sure that you don't get that awful oh, i'm so glad you're here <laughs> position that's my dad was telling us lots of stories my uh my granddad was a beekeeper oh, wow. in addition to being a, a doctor yeah and then the other thing is just twist it as you pick it up yeah a little bit Because of these bits, this is the bits you need. Oh, yeah. Because they often put drone mode in between the trains. Isn't that amazing? Okay, they've built home. Look at that. Those are. Oh, uh, how exciting. Is that drone cells? Yes. Yeah, look, because they're puffy. They're kind of. Yes. Now, what we'll probably have. To, and they built home. Hey! They've drawn they've out. Home. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. So these are mine. Hi. These are mine. This is actually Michael's. This is the one I'm worried about. Yeah. And then these are David. They've drawn out on Michael's though. Yeah, they have. They had kind of destroyed it down and now they've built it back up. So what we need to do now is we need to switch to photo mode okay. and take photos of each side. How do, oh, hey, here we go. 